Yeah, so okay, it's awesome. up to you now. Okay, thank you. Yeah, first of all, thank you for inviting me. As I said already, this uh, was postponed several times and now finally, uh, despite coronavirus, I hope it will work. Let's see. Uh, let, let me know if there's some uh, problem with, the, with anything. Um, and also, I, I don't know whether I, I made a strange uh, allusion or whatever, strange reference in my in my abstract because I think I have talked in Canterbury about co-induction co before, but it was a long, long time ago and I couldn't find any traces myself. So maybe I just dreamt this, so I'm not sure. Uh, I think it was maybe around 2000 or even before 2000. So, yeah, so quite a while ago. I'll okay. try it in my emails, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you, if you can find something, it would be, would be, would be interesting. Okay. Okay. And now I'm going infinite. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Here's my whiteboard. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Uh, so, okay. So I just uh, started ACTA uh, uh, in an ACTA buffer and I thought wanted, first wanted to review uh, the traditional um, inductive approach, not very long because maybe some people know this already very well, but just to, to give an intro. So let's define my favorite function, uh, uh, which is defined, uh, which is addition over the natural numbers. Oh, this is, happens uh, when you do live coding, things go slightly wrong, but I hope that increases the entertainment value. Uh, okay, so yeah, so this function, many people, this function, many people have seen already. Oh, this actor is very slow today. Uh oh, yeah, it's kind of a bit of a problem. Uh, so let's have a look. What are the natural numbers? And uh, the natural numbers in actor are inductive definition data, and they have two constructors, zero and suck. So that's a typical inductive definition. And when now we want to define a function over the natural numbers. And what I do is I'm splitting over the first argument. So there are only two options, zero and successor. And then as we all know, zero plus n is n. And suck m plus n is suck of m plus n, okay. So that is uh, the interplay of uh, pattern matching, and primitive recursion or structural recursion in ACTA. And lots of ACTA proofs work like that. ACTA constructions work like this. Yeah, let, let me also prove something. Uh, uh, we have three numbers. We should hope that if we do M plus, no, M is not good, I plus J plus K, that should be the same as i plus j plus k, okay? So ASOC is a function getting three numbers and returning a proof. And again, yes. Okay, so how we do the same, same idea. We pattern match or we, we split along the first argument. And now, oh, if the first argument is zero, it's, it's easy to see, but Akta tells us that both sides deduce to J plus K. So we just need reference, reflexivity, so that everything is equal to itself. And here we say that uh, the successor, the successor was first inside here, but using the second line and definition of plus, successor uh, moves outside and we just need to exploit the fact that suck is a congruence, preserves equality, and then we need to recursively calculate. Okay. So this is um, what we what we know and love. So inductive definition, and then defining functions, improving things, uh, proceeds using uh, pattern matching and structural recursion. Okay, 
Everybody on board with this? Some people not. Okay, yeah. Very good. Okay, now let me look at something else. And I, I'm going to do it very slowly. I want to look at the records. So what are records? So in, in, in ACTA, records are primitive. So for example, let me just define a, a very simple record. This one here, which gets two sets. Two set is just ACTA for type. Uh, and uh, return to set, I hope I get the syntax right. And what I do now in a record, I declare fields. So I have to say field here. Uh, and this has got two fields. The first projection, which is of type A, and the second projection, with, which is of type B. Let's see whether I got it right. So, yes. So, unlike, for example, Haskell, records here are really a primitive, they're not reduced to anything else. And uh, I have to write field here because I can actually mix record with definitions. So it's just a bit more powerful than it looks. So let me like define something. Like for example, I want to define a, a pair of the numbers one, two. Okay. So how do I do this? I want to define this pair. And how do I do this? Okay, there's a usual thing in ACTA. And it's very slow. Okay. And now what I do is I do pattern matching, but I do the opposite of pattern matching. And okay, you can't read this down there. Empty for split on result, it says. So let's do this. Oh, I forgot something. And uh, so I always forget to open. That is because. Okay. So if I, if I do this co cool pattern matching, you see it's not, we are not matching on the input. There's no input here, but we're matching on the result. So because to define a pair, I have to tell it what's the first projection and what is the second proje projection, right? And now if I, if I evaluate it, it's the obvious thing. Oh. Proj1 of P12 is not in scope. Oh, oh yeah, that's the old story. Yeah, okay. Public. Apparently this was fixed this week. This bug, but I haven't downloaded the latest actor. So, approach one, P12. I mean, it's already there. It's not no surprise, it's one, right? And actually, we can also define a pair function. Yeah. So, for any two sets, two, if we have A, and we have B, we want to do A times B, right? So pair AB is defined. Is this okay? Is the speed okay? Or is it, I guess it's too slow, right? You knew this already, everybody, right? There is a, okay. This is fine. Just, yeah. yeah? Okay. <laughs> so I do, so I do this, the same, the splitting on the result, right? And it's, uh, um, okay. So what's the first projection of the pair AB? It should be A. And what's the second one? It should be B. Right? And actually, because this is quite common to do this, I can, I, I don't actually need to write this, but I can write something like here. Constructor pair, which basically derives this uh, function. Okay. So far, so good. So when does it get more excited? When do we do co-induction? Okay, let's define streams. So what are streams? Streams are infinite sequences uh, of whatever. And I'm going to define it as a record. Okay. Stream is, gets a set as an input and gives a set as an output. Okay, so now I'm using the magic word as a co-inductive, which means the record can be recursive, which is exactly what I want. So what I have, I have a hat, which is of type A, and a tail, which is of type T model. Okay. 
So, what do we do? Any favorite functions on streams? Okay, no. Well, my favorite function on streams is called from, uh, which gets a natural number and delivers the stream of natural numbers starting with the, with the input. Okay. So what do I do? How do I define it? Now, you know already, you know already seen the trick, right? Not by pattern pattern matching, but by cool pattern matching. Ah, uh, I forgot this again. Okay. Open stream public. So why do I have to say this is a bit annoying. It's because there is some interaction between uh, records and modules in, in Acta, uh, which means that these names here are actually private unless I made them public. Okay, but you don't really want to know more. Um, so yeah, but co pattern matching, it says to define a stream, you have to tell me what is the head and what is the tail. What is the head? The from n, the idea is to return the numbers n, n plus one, n plus two, and so on, right? So it's n, right? Yeah. And what is the tail? The tail is another stream, namely it's from suck n, right? Okay. That's my definition of the stream. Um, now, uh, oh yeah, let's define another function on streams and then we can play around with it a bit, right? So map stream, so as you, as you, as the general function, if you have any two sets, yeah, the streams are a functor and I have a function from A to B, I should get a function from stream of A to stream of B. So how do I do this? Yeah, this is the same trick. So I have a stream as input. And uh -huh. so I do same trick to define the result here. Uh, I have to wait for a long time. Huh? I've already done. And so, what is the head of this map stream? What is it? F of, F of the head of X's. Yes, that's very good. F of head of X's. Okay, and what's the tail? It must be another stream. Yeah. So it's map stream f tail of x's. Yes. Exactly. And while you're writing this, type checking is going on, right? So Agda is. <laughs> No, not while I'm writing, that would be nice. Only when I do control C, control L. What's that? Okay. Well, what would happen say, if you just wrote map stream F X's there? Would that be okay? Yes. Yeah. No, that would not type check because X no. is a stream yeah. and F gets an A as an input, right? And if you wrote, it would be okay if you wrote, no, for the tail, for the second yeah. equation. You'd get a definition, it just wouldn't be very interesting if you remove Yes, the yes, okay, yes, this you can do. It would be just the constant stream the constant of stream the first element. The first element, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, there's nothing nothing wrong with this no, termination right. here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so so the main thing here, I mean, also here, if you look in the in the form function, recursively we use something actually bigger, yeah? Mm. That doesn't matter. But what's important is that we don't do anything with the result, yeah? So you can compute the, the tail of a stream uh, by recursive call, that's fine, that's productive, yeah? yeah. But, but if, you would, if I would like start to, to take away uh, uh, from the stream, then I would get a, uh, an error. And I, I, I have actually, I hope I get so far, I have a puzzle in the end about uh, the cool natural numbers, see? Uh, so there you can, Try uh, uh, that it's not completely easy. Mm. Uh, we, here, this example is completely easy. Okay, um, so here's the privacy streams. If I if I want to 
evaluate from zero, let's say, uh, it, it's not doing anything very interesting, yeah. So, um, so okay, I, I can write, write a function from stream to list, okay, oh, yeah. which what it gets, uh, okay, so any type A. Yeah, but we have to be careful. Obviously, we cannot turn a stream into a list, but only the initial segment. Uh, mm. initial segment. So let's see, we have a stream of A, and then uh, we get a natural number, which tells us how far we want to see the stream, and we return a list. Mm. It's the first n element, okay? Stream to list. So we have the stream, the number, and we compute something, so what do we do? Um, this is just a little helper function. So here we do recursion over n. Okay. Uh -huh. So here is the empty list. Mm. And here it's just head of axis, cons, and then we do stream to list. Uh -huh. ah, what is this? Uh, of tail of axis n. So this is just the normal inductive definition. Mm. Let's see, uh, control C n, uh, make it a bit bigger, uh, stream to list, uh, from five, let's say. Oh, I have to see how much. Let's say 10. Okay, hmm. seems to work. Uh, and let's, okay, let's also test this one. Unit testing, always very useful, right? Uh, oh yeah, map, stream. No. Uh, X to X times X. Uh, or from form one. Oh. oh no, okay, hang on. I need, <laughs> I forgot to turn it into, into a list. Yeah. yeah. Right? Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. So stream to list. Yeah, and let's do this. And let's look at the 10. And seems to work, okay? Everything fine. So now let's prove something. So what I want to prove is a theorem, namely uh, that for all natural numbers, it is the case that if you do which we all do I do it? Form of suck of n is the same stream oh. as a, a, a map stream suck uh, from n, right? Mm. I hope everybody believes uh, this um, equation. Right. Now, previously, we had a problem. Previously means in the in the age of intentional type theory, because like if we, if we, if we for example evaluate from one, it's from one, and if we evaluate, oh, okay, what have I done? I did done something wrong. If you evaluate a uh, map stream suck from zero, it evaluates to what? To this. Now they don't they have different normal forms, okay? Mm. Which is maybe not very surprising, but in intentional type theory, the definition of equality basically says that identical things are equal. And 
if you have no further assumption, identical means being actually the same. And that means that we cannot prove this. Right? Mm -hmm. So in, in, in intention type theory, not, but maybe if you pay some attention, you, you noticed that I have said cubicle here and imported some cubicle uh, ideas. So in cubicle, uh, equality is defined in a different way. And now, oh, my whiteboard is dark. That's not good. Uh, let me go to the whiteboard. Uh, can you see my whiteboard? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what's equality in cubicle? What is A equal B in cubicle? So over a type A. So let's say here's the type A. Okay. A. And here's A. And here's B. Okay. Now in cubicle, the idea is that we have an interval from zero to one, and this is called I. And uh, 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 an equality is a path between A and B. And what is a path? A path is, uh, okay, now it's a bit of a wrong way, but anyway, uh, the path, uh, okay, let me, let me just fix this because it gets ugly otherwise. Okay. So this is A, okay, this is B. So path is just a continuous map, which maps A, okay, continuous, and then one to B, yeah. And so it's a, it's a continuous map from the interval between zero and one, these are called I zero and I one, into, into the, the type, let me just write it down, it's a function F from I to A, and all functions are going to be continuous with the side condition that f of i zero is equal here. I mean, equal. I mean, definitionally equal to a, and f of i one is definitionally equal to b. Okay. That is our understanding of our definition of equality in cubicle. Let me just. Is there something related to Jordan curve theorem or something? Uh, yes, not sure. It's, just, it's much. I mean, um, not sure. Uh, I'm not. I, I. I can't give an intelligent comment on this. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. The one thing which I should remark is if we have two variables. Yeah. So if you have two variables like this, i and j of type i, then we can. We can identify a square, or not necessarily a square, an area, right? So, so, so here, these these maps from this point in the square, they 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 define an area here. And if you go one dimension higher, it becomes clear why this thing is called cubical. Right? Okay. So, Torsten, can I just ask? You said that the map F must be continuous. Yeah. So you're sort of assuming a world where you've already done some mathematics of real numbers and things like that to build. Yeah, but to build actually, the, the actually, okay, actually, we, we can uh, forget about the real numbers. Yeah, so we don't need them. Uh, we we abstract from the real numbers and right. just keep what we need. And what we need in the moment of the interval is basically just that it has got two ends, I zero and I one. Okay. Fair enough. But some mechanism for some Fs are, are legitimate and some are not, I guess. The, all the Fs which you can define are uh, legitimate. Right? Okay. So we, can, we don't have to have an extra condition. All, all the all the Fs are going to be uh, continuous. But define in what in a some sort of in in in, in the time constructive, theory. constructive meta theory. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, actually, it's not even necessary that to be constructive. To be honest, I mean, you can have include middle and all sorts of stuff, and it still works. Oh, okay. So it's sort of which some mathematicians quite like. 
because they can use this even without buying into oh. uh, uh, into into constructive okay. mathematics. Okay. Is there a requirement that this map is injective? No, not at all. Okay. Now I'm asking because in the Jordan Curve theorem have something like that, yeah. and so, so no, I, I will give you now. I will give you a map which is not injective, and this is called mm -hmm. Raffle. Uh, I raffle is already defined, so let me define my own raffle. Uh, mm -hmm. in, oh for any A and Z, yeah. uh, uh, for any A and A, I want to be able to prove that A is equal to A. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do I do this? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's lambda i dot a, whatever. Exactly. So yes, I can actually, yeah, I, I, can, I could have done as you suggested, uh, but I can just put it a, the i. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what's going on now? Right. Okay. So here it gets yellow, which is a bit annoying, it's a bit because um, for this to type check, we have to check the boundaries, yeah? So I is an element of this interval type, and you have to fit, put something in, but it says, but you better put something in, which is uh, if I is I zero, which is going to be A, and if I is I one, it's also going to be A. Mm. But yeah, if you if you're already, uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very easy. Yeah? Um, okay, uh, let me define something, something else, which is maybe surprising. So we have, Let's say we have two sets and we have two functions. And we know, oops, we know that they are pointwise equal. Hmm. Uh, geez, sorry. And then we want to prove that f is equal to g. Yeah, this is the thing mm. which you cannot prove in intangible type theory, right? Yeah, yeah. So let's see what is happening now. What's happening in the in the cubicle world? So now, okay, so we have to define a function again, right? Equality is a function. So let me introduce an extra argument. And things will get yellow again. This is a, uh, this is a yes. Uh, so it says uh, uh, something complicated about the, the boundary. So what do we need to return? We need to return a function. Okay. Um, so here, for any, yeah, for, our goal is yet not, not define a function from A to B. For any point, uh, on this on this on this path between f and g, I have to define a function, and it should be a function which in the beginning happens to be f, and in the end happens to be g. So it morphs f into g. Yeah, yes. and so we have to define a function. Let's like uh, do this. We lambda. Now we I define this lambda. Okay, and I I do I I if you look at my p, my p is a function, right? Mm. So I can just apply P to X and then I get an equality. Mm. But if I look at point I, I get uh, uh, something F of X, it's an element of A between F of X and G of X, right? Mm. And that's exactly what I need. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. So magic click, I have just proven functional extensionality. Um, but okay, let's see what happens to streams. So here, in the theorem, I wanted to define, I wanted to prove this equality. And so equality is a path, so I introduce a variable of type i. And, and now I need to define a stream uh, which morphs uh, from here to here, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but how do we find a stream? Or well, by co-induction, right? Mm. I mean, by co-recursion, by co-pattern matching. Mm. I have to define what is the hat 
of this stream. Mm. How does the head of the stream actually? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a suck of end, right? So it's suck, yeah, suck of end, yeah. Okay. And what is the tail of the stream? Okay, it's, I apply my theorem to suck of n and look at the graph. Okay, this was co-induction cool made easy. Yeah. So I, 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 I have basically the equality between streams is a stream of equality. That's what I'm basically exploiting here. And uh, all I have to go is to, to say, what is, the, what is the common hat and how I can recursively compute the tail, right? And if you, if you, if you, if you check this, so the, 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 suck, the theorem of suck of n proves form of suck of suck of n to a map stream suck from suck of n. And, and then that's exactly what I need at this point. Now, um, I don't know. Are you are you impressed? I mean, yeah, very. That's I good. think it's cool because actually, we, if we before when we did inductive reasoning, we really uh, when we do proofs, we use the same mechanism as we do when we define functions, right? Mm. We use pattern matching and structural recursion. Now, in the in the mirror world, at least from the cubicle perspective. Things are very similar. Uh, we we use uh, okay, we use cool pattern matching, and some cool, some guarded co recursion. Mm, mm, yeah, yeah. Um, so you can actually. I mean, I I, I, I don't. I, I I wanted to show you something else, so I don't have enough time. But we can, if you if you if you if you really like the old definition of uh, of co induction which says, okay, let's define a bi-simulation. Mm. Uh, what is the bi-simulation between streams? It's a, it's, it's a relation such that uh, if they're related, the heads must be equal and the tails must be in this bi-simulation. And then things which are bi-similar are equal. So I can prove this, but there isn't really much, no, much point because it's much better just to use this directly. You know? But you can, you can oh. create the link to the past, let's say. Uh, Thurston, can I ask something? Yeah. Um, so uh, if the co-inductive types is a terminal co-algebra, then you can also prove this theorem that you just showed us, yes, uh -huh. I believe. Yes. But, um, so does that mean that in plain acta, the co-inductive types are not terminal co-algebras? Yes, oh. that's correct. Okay. They're only, they're, they're up to, up to bisimilarity. If you if you if you if you use them up to bisimilarity, ah, they are yeah. okay. But in in cubical actor, we can prove exactly that uh, uh, streams, for example, are the terminal algebra. Okay, and is that because basically you can prove function extensionality? Yeah, function. I would say it's another instance. Uh, uh, the, in the cubical theory, uh, the equality of uh, co-inductive type is, is co-inductively defined. So, I mean, I can also say, uh, what is equality between two streams? It's a stream of equalities, right? Mm -hmm. The heads must be equal and the tails must be equal. And the, the cubicle view gives me exactly this definition. Yeah. Thank you. Good. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to play a bit around with kunats um, in the last few minutes. So what are kunats? Uh, we, I think we know. So what is the type of the predecessor? Let me just, what is the type of the predecessor function? It's like wrong. QI, come on. Yeah, it's, give me it, the wrong answer. Not to not. Yes, that's the wrong answer. Okay, good. thank you. <laughs> I'm good at wrong answers. Yeah, yeah. 
So, the, the right answer is, um, why would I map zero to zero? That's a very strange idea. I mean, the predecessor of zero is not yeah, zero, right. no? I right. mean, the predecessor of zero is an error, right? Yeah, yeah. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. Oh. Maybe not. So, okay, let me just define it. Difficult. It just will take another few minutes. Um, okay. Okay. So, is there, oh, so it's... Oh, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, okay, it's nothing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And here, oh, yeah, just then. Okay. Mm. So now, when I define the co natural numbers, instead of using zero and successor, I'm going to use a predecessor. Okay. Field. Okay, let's call it put in. I don't think it may be okay. Uh, yeah. So a cool natural number is something of which I can compute its predecessor. Right. Yeah. And so for example, the zero. Uh, is a co-natural number. It's nothing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, so how do I define it? Oh, that's prime. Yes, so I do... Uh, 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 yeah. It would be nice if it... Okay, so it says... Okay. Pretty, yes. So I'm just doing the cool pattern. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, open. So can you define infinity as um yes yes let's do infinity uh first uh, and let's do success and then I do infinity okay okay yeah so what is this nothing right this is clear yeah yeah actually it has like the same almost the same line as here right <laughs> yeah so what is suck in is uh, yes. it's just the object oriented version of natural numbers right uh, i mean are the co natural numbers because if you look at this, the constructors become uh, methods here, right? Ah, uh, yes. So, okay. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes. So, yeah, what is this? is easy again. The predecessor of suck of n, n is, n. Is, 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 is just n. Oh, just L processes, yeah. Okay. And now, the infinity. What is infinity? Pride of infinity is just infinity. Yeah, that's it. So just infinity, yeah, oh, okay. because okay. the predecessor of infinity is always a, is a successor, and what is this predecessor of infinity again? So it's an infinite sequence of successors, which I just define like this. Right? So that isn't, but that's not like an ordinal. You can't have infinity plus one, can you? Can you do? Yes, infinity plus one is infinity. Um, okay, so it's not like omega. No, it's not uh, ordinal. No, it's not ordinal. You, you could define predecessor uh, infinity plus one. It's 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 just a new thing, and the predecessor Actually, of just... infinity plus one is infinity. But there probably would be extensionally the same as infinity. Well, that's yeah. interesting. Oh, it yes, would. They are equal. Equal. You don't have to say extensional. They're equal. Okay. Uh, okay. So what's so let's just define addition in general. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. No. Oh. Okay. 
Okay? Yeah. So, for this, it's good to have in mind, well, let's just do this like this, the definition, the inductive definition, right? So, yeah. okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going, I have to say what's the predecessor is. Yeah. Of the sum. And what do I do? To find out what the predecessor of m plus n is, I, I better find out what the predecessor of of m is. And, right? yeah. and then this is called with put uh, in of m. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, so this is like a case. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. So I, 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 I pattern match on this x, okay. So it could be that the predecessor of m is nothing, which means m is zero. Yes. What is then the predecessor of m plus n? For n. No, it's the predecessor of n. Predecessor of n. It's the predecessor of n. Hmm. Okay. And here it gets, so this is n, this is n prime. Okay, so what is the, if the, if the, pre, if the predecessor, uh, if, 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 if n was a successor and its predecessor is n prime, what is then the predecessor of n plus n? n prime plus n? Just n prime. Just, right, because yeah. just, we know, because we have a successor, oh. yeah? Yeah. And now we do this. Okay, so uh, let me let me do some testing, yeah, some unit test. So I have to write my test here. So the easy. Shouldn't that be? It should be n prime, n prime plus n. Yeah. It should. Oh, you're right. Yeah. M plus. Hang on. M plus. The m. M, m should be with. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. As so I did. Okay. Good. That I, I haven't yet done the test, right? Because yeah. that would have been wrong, right? So, so nobody stops me uh, 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 using M there again. We we'll just have to. Uh, no, okay. Uh, I haven't defined this yet. Uh, okay, let's just define the function from natural number to uh, infinite natural numbers. Oh yeah. Well, that's easy. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I do a little recursion over n. Mm. This is just to relax, okay. So here I return to zero. Oops. Okay, and here I return that I am using the infinite successor uh, and do just a normal primitive recursion. Okay. Okay. Uh, but uh, in these, these Kuhnach are not very readable. So let's do the opposite. Uh -huh. Is anybody streaming? No, okay. Okay. Ah, oh. after maybe an. Yeah, that wouldn't that wouldn't help. <laughs> so what do I do? Um, uh, to I, I have a look at, at what is my oh my n okay. <clears throat> uh, I do a predecessor. The only thing I can do with a conventional number is to check what mm -hmm. is the predecessor, right? Okay, yeah. so yes. if it's nothing, I return, come zero. on, I could turn zero. Yeah. And otherwise I return suck of. Yeah. You see, yeah. Oh, it should be called n prime. I don't know. 
Is that, that going to have termination issues or something? You should so, hope so, right? <laughs> <laughs> In the moment, I think Acta has termination issues, let's see. You know, it's a pass, oh no, it's a pass problem. Oh, close in parentheses. Oh, yeah. 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 Ah, ah, doesn't like it, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's right, because obviously, yeah, this is not, uh, 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 it's neither structural nor it's guarded, yeah. So let's just. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> you see, it's nice. You can cheat, right? Okay. But uh, so why do I do this? Uh, let's say x3, x3 plus 4 uh, is, um, what is it? Uh, I, uh, maybe I shouldn't have used so many funny characters. So I, I make the infinite number three mm. and then I add it to the co-natural number, I should say, because I have the finite co-natural number. And four, mm. and then I get a co-natural number and then I use my cheat. Mm. Yes, I do the, only do this example. I leave it to you to prove all the arithmetic laws of co natural numbers, right? Stefan, hooray, must work, Whoa. right? That's already a proof. Uh, my definition is correct. Um, so I don't know, I've started a bit late. Um, I, 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 I can either give the easy puzzle or I give the solution to the easy puzzle and give the difficult puzzle. But let me say what the easy puzzle is. Okay. The easy puzzle is to define, now guess what? Uh -huh. By the way, the, the definition, so what is the correct correctness of, of the infinite addition is that for all the finite numbers, it should agree mm -hmm. With a normal addition, that's enough to specify it. Oh no, times. Okay. So, shall we do times? How do we do multiplication of co natural numbers? Well, Can you give the difficult puzzle yeah. before you give the solution? Sorry? Sorry? Can you give the difficult puzzle before you give the solution? Oh, the difficult puzzle is uh, ah, this one. Okay. Okay, that's the difficult puzzle. So I didn't, I mean, so the easy puzzle, I set as an exercise in my uh, level four course, uh, a number of people did it. Um, so I always have these, I have like, my, my system is 80% of the mark you, you, you get if you just can regurgitate what I've explained this maybe. And and twenty percent you have to be clever. Okay. Can you not and these were twenty percent this was the twenty percent clever. Mm. And I'm not sure I have enough time. Uh, uh, I, 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 so you, you, I am, maybe you would just to try to do uh, the easy one. Uh, and the easy one means okay, do it just with guarded recursion which means uh, it shouldn't get red and don't do any tricks like the sizes or size, whatever, whatever. Just in plain actor, that, that would be the, the, the definition. 
When shouldn't you be able um, to just do the same thing as with addition and then? Yes, should we? And okay, let's let's try. So what do we do? Take the thing from M. Uh, we do. We want to do the predecessor. What is the predecessor of M times N? What? It's N minus okay, one. Let's, let's, see, <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see what the predecessor yeah. of of M is, right? Yeah. Okay, the predecessor of M. Come on, come on. Okay. It is, yeah, so if that's nothing, then. If that's nothing, then. The answer, the answer is no. nothing. Nothing. Right. Really? Yeah. The predecessor of M. Because nothing is, you know. No, but zero, zero times. Zero times nothing is nothing. Yeah, zero okay. times anything is. Zero. Oh, I see. Yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what is the. Uh, uh, so what was here? Then isn't it? It's n plus. Uh, it should be, uh, isn't it? Like m prime plus m prime times n, all at, as adjust. Or it, it's n plus m prime times n. N, n rather than m, isn't it? Uh, hang on, we have m. I thought it was. Uh, like, isn't it? Oh, you're taking one off the m, so you have to add n worth to the. To the answer, but you're already yeah. with the predecessor, so it should be m prime plus m prime times but, n. No, it's n. Uh, hang on. M prime times the, the, n. The, so, so um, what we <laughs> the problem is uh, so what would not be right? Okay, uh, to say what uh, it is, it is because it's okay. So m prime. So, so what we have is that what. what what we, well, what we just is, like the successor. is n plus yeah yes is n plus m prime yes. times n right? exactly yes oh but we want the predecessor but, yeah, uh, we, the predecessor but we can just one. we can just do this but we just write predecessor yes yes, yes. can i just of, add yes hello yeah hi yeah hi. Um, uh, is really in in the nothing case the predecessor yeah. of m is nothing. Yeah, so it means m is zero. M is zero. Oh, and then the predecessor okay. of m times n is is also zero, so we have to say nothing, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. But I know it's, it's confusing. Uh, so here you say this is what you want to say. Okay, uh, you know plus in and say, that's the yeah. issue because I haven't. Said anything about uh, binding? Uh, okay. That should be m prime, I think. M prime, right? Oh, it doesn't like it. But maybe it's just stupid, no? Well, maybe can, we can, can take the predecessor of n and then just the rest of the term, right? You can do it adjust on the predecessor of uh -huh. Okay, so, 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 okay, so, so, so this definition, but let me first tell you something. Is this definition okay here? I mean, it, it, it's not accepted by ACTA, but maybe ACTA is just stupid, right? And I'm a doctor, actually, I'm a professor. <laughs> uh, so, and I say, uh, that's annoying, right? Uh, stupid ACTA. So this is okay. Mm. What would you, what would Professor Thompson say about this? Well, that's a good question, isn't it? Is it, is it, is it, is actor just stupid and is this actually okay? What else can you do? I mean, what no, no, it's not a question what else, sorry, that's, oh. uh, I know what else I can do, but my question is, is this okay? I mean, is this, is this actually, it's terminating, so but ACTA is just too stupid. I'd say it's okay. Okay. Mm. And, so, uh, and, and then what happens if I evaluate uh, this definition? Okay, let's say uh, the N to, uh, okay, no, 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 what do I want? Oh, yeah. In star in and I don't really want to do this. You see her on the right. Because, 
Yeah. It's not a good situation, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I'm I'm adding infinitely often zero, and that's not that is not very that's um, not very healthy. Okay, so it's, it's only okay on the finite fragment of those. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But it's not total, so it, 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 it's in this case uh, uh, it, it, yes. it's also a lie. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. But uh, let's fix it. Okay. That keeps the name and comment everything out. Okay, so what, what, uh, you will. that's all okay. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, from the counter example, it should be clear that we need to check uh, all the what is the predecessor of n, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and the first indentation is not very nice, but let's just do that. Yeah. Previously, I got a better indentation, but now <laughs> this is uh, okay. So, if um, if it's nothing, then it's nothing, right? Mm. Yeah. Okay. And if it's just n prime, then the predecessor is also something. Then it's just n prime plus in m da in or n does it n or n prime n prime prime n right. That is the right answer. Oh no. Okay, hang on, I have not this again, and this will be slow today. Ah, but Akta doesn't like it. Now, in this case, I can say actually two, actually. Uh, but um, it's not a very good situation, right? So I tell you it's okay, but how do I know? And maybe I got it wrong. So I'm not happy with this. No. Uh, I, find I, it, I find it just a bit suspicious there on the right hand side because the just is like a plus one. Yeah, but it's plus one because we know that it's the so N it has a successor. Oh, yes. yeah. So the predecessor, we know it, it must be a successor. Yeah. But that's a global, that's a global plus one. That's yes, a plus one because, to the. the Yes, because okay. look, we, we, we calculate m plus uh, m times n. Yeah? We know that both m and n are successors. And then we say, okay, I can, now I know I can at least, I know the result will be successor or something. Right? Yes, but, but you're saying the result of the predecessor is the successor. No, no, it's right. Sorry. I mean, no, you're saying what is, what is the definition of the, the, the Pratt infinity function for this? You say no, the result the of... no, no, the point, the, the explanation is this. What is the predecessor? Okay. So what is the predecessor of, of, of M, uh, M prime plus one times N prime plus one, right? And what is it? It is actually N prime plus uh, m oh, because of two plus one. N. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. But it's correct. I mean, we can test it, uh, and, and 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 it works. I mean, I'm not daring to test now in case I've done something wrong. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I think it's correct. However, yeah, but but I think that just means plus one in this context, doesn't it? Yeah, it means plus one. Yeah, it's fine because I mean the predecessor of m prime plus one and n prime plus one is this. So I, re I know there is, it is a successor and this is a predecessor, right? So could, could you just try f three times four or something like oh, that? Okay, let's do it. I hope, <laughs> okay, let me just copy, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm here very clever, you know, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this 
Um, okay. That's four, and here it is. Now we have to wait a little bit. X three times four. That's two. Okay. Convinced? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, but so why does Akta not why does Akta why does Akta not like it? Um, here's a subtle reason why this function works, because plus is contractive plus doesn't remove anything. Uh, it, it may add more successors, but it never removes them. So here it's a recursive call, yeah? Mm -hmm. But the recursive call is now in the output. And, and then we do something with it. And I can, I can argue that it's okay what we're doing because we are mm -hmm. not going to take away any successors here. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. hence this is legitimate. But Akta cannot see it because Akta says, no, you just have to use this. And otherwise it's not guarded. Yeah? The situation is actually symmetric to, if you define a recursive function, a recursive function like on the natural number, which you see it's terminating because it's always uh, like a GCD, it always uses recursively something smaller. Yeah, then you can, uh, it's okay, but Akta will not recognize this. However, the, 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 uh, so the, the exercise here was actually to give a definition of, uh, of this function. Uh, uh, define star inf with no red, okay? And you are allowed to define maybe an auxiliary function, maybe Maybe it only works when we define an auxiliary function, right? Yeah, everybody understood the challenge? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this file somewhere mm -hmm. uh, and then you can play around with this. Yeah, so I comment out this because, okay, that's not, okay, that's not what we want. We want it without cheating, right? Without, uh, because the danger of this, I'm a professor, I'm a doctor, I think it's obviously mm -hmm. sometimes professors can get it wrong. Yeah, I mean, it maybe come as a surprise to everybody here, but these things happen. Yeah, and and so we should be on the safe side and really, uh, I mean, Akra can get it wrong as well, but that's another mm -hmm. issue. Uh, but we should be on the safe side and, and have no right. right. And if you have done this, then so yeah, this is not too hard, uh, but this one was quite tricky. Uh, and this was actually, uh, I, I went to, I had to go to, to, to Birmingham uh, to get somebody to solve it. So I, I give a talk there and then uh, oh, I was part of, of, a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of some, uh, what is it called? Spring school, winter school, hot meeting. And then I, I convinced Auke that this is an interesting problem. And we together, but mainly him, we, we solved this. This is actually, I, this is, I, I found it a bit tricky, but maybe you are cleverer. Uh, and obviously the function is, uh, the, the question is, can you, can you define the whole Ackermann? Or the, I don't know. Mm. I don't know the answer to this. Yeah. Okay, I know the answer to this one. And this one is one of the two. But, uh, okay. So that's all I wanted to say. Yeah, thank you, Ooh. Thorsten. Yeah, yeah. So I think now we all can <laughs> actually and, <laughs> and reality can clip. Yeah, more questions. Mm -hmm. So I had a question. So you were sort of, you were validating these things by, um, Converting to and from ordinary natural numbers. Yeah. Another thing you could potentially do is try and prove equalities between. Right. Infinite so that's numbers. another. Yeah, that's another exercise. So prove, for example, that uh, uh, co-natural numbers with zero and plus are uh, a, a monoid, right? Mm -hmm. a commutative monoid. Mm. 
Yeah, and I haven't done this because uh, there's something a bit annoying that this uh, using interval and with doesn't work together. Now you can do it without with by always defining auxiliary functions. But mm -hmm. I, 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 I asked the, the guy who's implemented this whether we can fix this. So yeah, but no, that's a good exercise uh, to prove the arithmetic laws uh, for the co natural numbers. And yeah, it, 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 it will work exactly. Using it's the simplest idea. thing I was thinking you, you'd want to prove is n plus zero equals zero, but maybe- Oh, I did this. Oh, this, one is, this one is okay, yeah. Uh, let me see, because there you don't need, uh, let me say. Okay, so n plus zero is n, I mean, <laughs> not- Yeah, not. yeah no, uh, like, like, like uh, okay, or, or uh, how do you call it? Uh, uh, I'll call it plus zero, okay? Mm. Uh, so for all uh, co natural numbers, it is the case that n, n plus in zero in, oops, is equal to n. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, okay, we have to define, we have to define a function. Yeah, yeah. The interval. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then we define a, a co-natural number. Hmm. Uh, so, and and the pre what is the predecessor? The predecessor is just the predecessor of n, right? No, it isn't like this. Okay, then we have to. Oh no, 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 we have to. Uh, I to I. I think you have. Yeah, don't you have to do? Uh, to do or maybe. Uh, okay, now I have to check n because n could be yeah, zero. Yeah, exactly. So, so uh, it's with case of yeah. And uh, uh, n. Mm. Uh, okay. No. No. Oh, it doesn't like this. Okay, no, no, no. I didn't need this. Oh, yeah, that's exactly this problem. But let me just oh. say this. Uh, oh, yeah, no, no, but it's easy. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. yeah. So I remember I didn't need this for this one. That was a problem. If I want to prove anything more interesting, I need this. Right. But this one is just, as I said, so what do I need? Uh, it's the predecessor of n. Everywhere. <laughs> um, no, what is this? I oh, know, hang on. The the plus zero of, to... of plus, the plus zero, zero and uh, uh, no, and R. Yeah, but we're... Don't be, that's, oh. that's... Huh? No, that's no, no, that's that can't work. No, 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 no. You, you have to apply the predecessor to n as well. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Well, that's not good. Uh, oh, no, oh no. yes, plus zero. Okay. It's. Uh... Ah, yeah, yeah, you're right. No, that is. Okay. What is it? I'm cheating. Okay. So it has to be that when I is zero, it has to be. So shouldn't this give, if n is if n is nothing, the result is raffle or. What's happening there? Mm. So it's predecessor and mm. 
Moment. They have different so, types. What? I mean, on the left you have a proof, on the right you have an, an uh, like integer. Yeah, it's... No, no, but here I, it, I want... Yeah, it's not the eye. Yeah. Oh, it works. Why does it not work in the other side? Uh, so I want... Okay, I want to say... Um, Oh, oh, that's interesting. So it tells you the boundary stuff. Yes. So oh. if I say predecessor of n. Um, so what does that notation? What's the vertical bar there in the bound in that in the bottom window? What does vertical bar mean? I don't know. You see, <laughs> the, you got the the tells you tells you that you need to do a width. Yeah. Well, I can't do this. Yes, I, I should do this. Okay, I need to do this. And it oh. doesn't like this. So I thought this one works, but I knew you need to do this. Oh. Uh, yeah, and this doesn't work. Okay, so sorry. Mm. Wait, why doesn't with work? Uh, because uh, uh, and, 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 and Andrea uh, was, uh, was too lazy to implement it. <laughs> oh. Oh. So yes, I asked him to fix this, but okay, so I need this, yeah. Okay. So Andrea you... Vizotzi. Yeah, Vizotzi. Yeah. Andrea. Okay. I mean, he, he, he did a great job in implementing this, uh, but mm. he, I see. he didn't do this. Okay. But that's really what you want to be able to do, right? Um, yes. Mm. Yes. Oh, yes, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just thought this would work, but it didn't. I don't know why I imagined it was working. Okay. So that's interesting. So this is a, this sort of relates to what I was saying earlier on about what can you use for the to define these these um, equality functions. And that's, yes. Yeah. But well, it's the same. I mean, it's, it's uh, you, you you. I mean, once this is fixed, I mean, as I say, you don't strictly need the this. You can define auxiliary function, which gets an extra argument, and then do yeah. it by hand. Basically, this translation with its own mm. syntactic sugar, but it makes it much easier to to do uh, this sort of thing. But I'm still sort of intrigued. So the so what do you know about this i in this interval i? Yes. Yeah, so um, to define yeah. these functions, what what's okay? So, 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 so the best reference is uh, if you look uh, acta cubicle documentation. Okay. Uh, then it so it, it, it's it's very it's very condensed because you can also read the papers by uh, Thierry Kukong and uh, mm. other people. Uh, but uh, there are references into these papers, but there is a very condensed explanation. Oh yeah. Oh, one thing I forgot to say, okay, uh, actually, sorry, but now it's late, is not everything is so easy in the cubicle world. Uh, if you want to define uh, uh, transitivity, then, uh, uh, I mean, transitivity of addition, yeah, um, of, of uh, equality. Um, right. Mm. Then you need to know a bit more, not so much about the uh, interval, uh, but um, oh yes, because you yes, because you want to stick the two intervals together. Yes, you, right. but that's not okay. That's not how we do it. Uh, okay, so um, what we do instead to construct this. Uh -huh, that's, uh, uh, is uh, is the following? So here we have a, b, and c. So uh, so a, b. So there is a proof p, which goes from a to b, mm. and there is a proof q. So that is direction i, and there's another direction because we can we can just look at another dimension, and here is a proof q, which goes from b to c. And here, right, we have the identity. Yeah, we go to a again. And 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 uh, by the magic of uh, the Khan property, we know that we can 
complete every open square, and that's built in to a cubicle actor and it's called uh, HComp. Okay. HComp allows us to say, okay, we have got an open square here. Give me the lid, and the lid is then the missing proof. So that's an axiom, effectively. Um, no, it's not an axiom uh, because it's, uh, it reduces, it's, uh, it's, it's defined by recursion on types. So H comp or for sigma okay. types is defined via H comp of the components and so on. Oh, okay. So, so H comp uh, is a, is a well behaved uh, operation, which is defined by recursion over types right. and reduces. So everything is, uh, there are no axioms. So that's a sort of synthetic version of you can contract the interval into a half and splice them together. It's a bit different. No, I mean, that's, yeah, that would be, no, the property here is that every, every open uh, figure, so it's, it's, it's like composition and category theory. Yeah? If you right. have a, if you have a, and everything is undirectional, if you have a, a square, and then there's one line missing, you just compose everything and you, you get it. Right. right? So that's, yeah. that's, that's composition. And, mm. and okay, it goes in, in, in other dimensions. So if you have now a cube and there's a side missing, you, you get the, the, you can also compose uh, the, the diagrams and you get something on the top. Actually, you also get a filler inside, but uh, so Thierry has shown that you can actually compute the filler via the lid if you go just one dimension higher. Oh, right, okay. okay. So, but I, yeah, this is uh, just you. a taste. Okay, that's, that's intriguing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but all these, uh, this is completely constructive. Everything, uh, yeah, yeah. everything is, is defined. I mean, if these, these um, eyes in the interval are, are sort of real numbers, you could just use sort of the maximum because this is sort of a yes, metric it conforming. It has maximum and minimum and it has also one minus. Uh, uh, these are actually operation on the interval. They are useful uh, for certain things, but for transitivity, uh, that's not enough. You really need uh, this Kahn property. The Kahn thing. Mm. Oh, interesting. Also, can I ask you another question? Yeah. Um, I'm still interested in the conductive numbers and there is a good question on, on the chat, which is what oh. happens when we have zero times infinity? Uh, uh -huh. Zero times infinity is zero. Why? Why is it not just undefined or something? Uh, okay, because if you look, zero times one is zero. Zero times, no, undefined would not be good. We need something total, right? And uh, if, you, if you approximate zero times infinity by looking at all the finite approximations, it's constantly zero. And so the limit of the sequence of constantly zero is just zero. Okay. 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 Uh, chat, there's a chat. Oh. Uh -huh. Yes. So, so is the same thing happen if we have so zero times infinity, but also infinity times zero should also be the same, right? Let me not stop the share. Maybe I see a bit more. Sorry. Can you ask again? Well, we had zero times infinity, and when we did the induction on the first argument, we just said yeah. the predecessor is nothing, and that's okay. But it should also work in the other case when we have infinity times zero. Yes, right? in, the, in, this, in the second version, we, we looked at both, right? If any yeah. of them is zero, we return zero, uh, nothing. Uh, yeah. yeah, but mm -hmm. when, you do, when you do the correct solution, that should also be the case, right? So mm -hmm. we okay. will have to look at both, but uh, so the hint is uh, you need to define an auxiliary function, which is a bit more general than multiplication, and then you can derive multiplication from this more general function. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can, I can upload mm -hmm. uh, my computer. Any other questions? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Hi, can you hear me? It's a bit quiet. Oh, right, okay. Probably because it's using my internal microphone in the laptop. Oh, it's better now, okay. Uh, okay. Um, can you use the later modality to convince Agda that things are productive and use that in the, the definitions? Or, I mean, is that something that, well, is to be implemented or? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess, uh, no, I mean, first of all, that's not the solution I'm looking for. Um, later modality is not built into Agda. Uh, I, 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 I suppose you could, you can implement um, the, how is it called, uh, productive type theory, or what's the word? Uh, 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 guarded recursive type theory. Sorry? Yeah, guarded, do you mean gu guarded, guarded recursive type yeah. theory? You, 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 I, I think that you can implement uh, guarded recursion type theory using the score induction. You could define an, uh, a language in, inside it which, which does this, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and that could be very, I mean, obviously, the point is that the Scala definitions are often easier to handle than the direct definitions. But uh, no, I mean, that's not, it's, it's not implemented and it's not necessary uh, mm. to, to solve this. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to do something like uh, see for Eratosthenes, yeah. then you have so slightly the issue that um, how do you know that the stream keeps being productive. I mean, if you sort oh. of can sort of use something like like um, Bertrand's postulate, you would know that it is stays productive. But that's a tricky one. Yes. However, if you only want to see the the stream without any uh, proof, uh, <laughs> then you can use the fact. Um, or you need filter. Obviously, a filter is not productive, but filter with a boundary is productive. I mean. And, and, and you can always compute these boundaries when you produce a stream. So you just have to, I mean, you, yeah, you, you, you compute a stream, um, which, okay, which could go wrong. Uh, so it's a stream of maybe primes, but it turns out it's always just primes. So to prove that they're just primes. Um, oh no, you don't even need this. You can produce a stream of natural numbers, which are the primes. And in the case uh, you would run out of a filter, you just produce a constant stream of zeros. So, so this way you can define a productive version of, of the stream of Aristosthenes. But mm. uh, uh, you, you just you, wouldn't you, know that they are. Yeah, I know what you mean. Correct. Yeah. But yeah, if you, if you, I mean, obviously you, you can define the stream of Aristosthenes in a way that you know that there are only prime numbers and that all the prime numbers appear and then you just have to prove something. Hang on, can't you pre use a proof that there's an infinite number of primes to... Yeah, sure. To... Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what... If, if you... I mean, what I give is a hack, so how you can produce the, the, mm -hmm. the, the, mm -hmm. the stream of primes. But if you want to have the stream of primes with some assurance, uh, I mean, first of all, that all the numbers which appear are only primes, such maybe a soundness, uh, then you need already to build in uh, a mm. proof that there are any primes, yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay, actually it gives, gives you terrible upper bounds. I mean, you... But it's not yeah. so different. I mean, in that case, you, you, yeah, you've got a function. I mean, you can, you can build, surely you can build a, something like filter where, where you, you pass in a, a witness that there's always something, yeah, yeah. there's always yeah. something bigger. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what you can do there. Yeah. 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 That's not so difficult. I mean. No. I mean, it's fiddly, but it's not. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, you don't need to have an exact bound. No, no, exactly. You can just use a square, and then you know, before you reach the square, you will have another prime. So that's uh, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, all yeah. you need. It's not difficult. Yeah, but, uh, oh. That's fine. So I have put uh, this uh, ACTA file mm -hmm. uh, on the on the chat. So uh, yeah. okay, we'll all get distracted into doing ACTA. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you said Ackerman function. 
That's... Yeah, I mean, uh, exponentiation, as I say, uh, would be the first uh, challenge. Yeah. Uh, but then uh, do all the finite levels of the Ackermann function. I don't know what to do. In particular, I mean, exponentiation required a different trick as multiplication. Uh, so I have not yet, I'm not yet, uh, I, we have not yet seen any, any uh, regularity. Right. Uh, yeah. To identify a general scheme, how to define this. Uh, Interesting. Uh, come on. Uh, um, I have a question. How does this relate to like your sort of like current research in, in the group, I guess? Like is this is this this like is this a feature that you've implemented or is this a feature that you're using? Uh, no, it's a feature I'm using. Uh, although I'm okay, I'm I'm I've been using co re induction recently uh, to define uh, 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 infinity categories. Uh, so I mean, this is something. Once you once you uh, deal with uh, hot, you 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 offer. It, I mean, um, I mean, no category theory, right? I hope. Okay, okay. okay. I know so, of it, but like yeah. I'm, I'm so not... once uh, so my my experience was once you discover uh, category theory, the revelation, lots of things fall into place. It's very beautiful, and then people tell you that that there are people who are not satisfied with category theory and they do higher categories, which are uh, categories of categories of categories. So it's, it's, a, it's a bit uh, magic thing. Oh, these people must be really mad. Yeah? And then you realize at some point that actually you need higher categories. And, uh, and uh, so yes, I was thinking, I was looking at co-inductive definitions of higher categories. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, oh yeah, Ohad asked something. Um, I think you have to uh, fiddle around with it so that the boundary definitions do hold definitionally. Um, yeah, but it, it can get fiddly uh, and there's no, uh, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it does uh, some very clever computations and equation solving. Um, no, I don't think it's, it's not so much, with co-induction is, is, is not so much the issue. It gets fiddly uh, if you go into higher dimensions, then uh, it becomes, uh, can be a bit uh, the dimensions, by the way, have to do with the dimension of the cubes. I mean, how many interval variables have got with the dimensions? Yeah, any other question? I think we are slowly running out of questions, and yeah. Uh -huh. oh. Ah. Oh. No, it's yeah. just for that. Yeah, there's a question about just above the question. There's a link. Yeah, if, if somebody doesn't, I mean, I can also mail it. Uh, uh, but I think I. Uh, uh -huh. So maybe you just, can mail it. Or what can you send me an email so that I have your email address and you have to look for it? Just in case. Maybe, maybe the chat is not. Uh, the files are not visible to outsiders. I don't know whether there's some mm. protective mechanism. In place. I, I don't know why, but yeah, you never know. Yeah, mm. see. <laughs> oh, Perdita sees it. But okay. Yeah. Oh, they're both in Edinburgh, also. <laughs> oh, well, even doesn't. Sometimes what? Do you That's weird. <laughs> okay, let me just try again. Anya sees it. Okay. Okay, I've sent it again, but maybe it has to do with the version of the of the uh, Zoom uh, Zoom version could be. Yeah, yeah maybe. I yes, Ruben says he's using Linux, so I maybe uh, uh, I have no I have no issues. Uh -huh. like I see the file. I downloaded it. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, but anyone can email you Torsten and then get the file. Yes. That's why. Oh. 
return the file. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. anybody who has got a nice solution can also. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I think we thank you again. Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you very much for the talk and the many good answers. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, thanks, Dawson. A very good audience. Yeah, thanks very it was, much. It was lovely to see these things in action. It was that was a very nice kind of mm. uh, demonstration of it all going together. That was really nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Yeah, see you soon. So, yeah. 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 Do. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. We talk about when you really can come. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Look forward to some beer in the future. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. Beer in the future, the delayed beer, you know. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. later, later, <laughs> later. <laughs> That's hopefully terminating. That is good, yeah. Okay. okay. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye.